Hey y'all, it's diagramming time. You know you want to do it. You know you love it. So here we are again, uh, moving on to the next step. Uh, in, in the last video I did, which was about diagramming indirect objects, I talked a little bit about how to diagram adjectives because there were some articles in some of the sentences I used, words like the, a, and an. But in the case of these sentences, there are actual adjectives and actual adverbs. And we're going to see how, how, they, how they are used and also how they are diagrammed. If you don't know what an adjective or an adverb happen to be, you can obviously look that up because you have Google. It's a pretty interesting tool. But I'll tell you really quickly because they're easy um, to understand. An adjective is simply a word that tells you more information about another object, another noun. So in other words, if I told you an apple and I asked you to give me an adjective for it, one you might give me is red because it's telling us more information about the word red would describe the apple. An adverb does basically the same kind of thing, except that instead of giving us more information about a noun, it is giving us more information about um, a verb, about an action. So if I said I jumped, you might, let me, let me use a different one. If I said I ran, you might say, how did I run? Quickly. A word like quickly would be an adverb. He ran quickly. Okay, so usually, uh, in a lot of instances, adverbs are easily spotted because they end in L-Y. Um, but basically, they are the ad adjective equivalent for the verb family. Okay, hopefully that didn't confuse you. So let me walk you through a sentence with a lot of adjectives and adverbs and show you how they are diagrammed. Okay, the first sentence says, Alana's strange dream faded quickly. So in doing a sentence like this, it's, you diagram in the same way that I've shown you in the past, basically by creating your diagram, searching first for the uh, simple subject in the sentence, the noun that the, that the sentence is about. Now this one's a little bit confusing because here you see a name and oftentimes it, that looks a lot like a noun. It looks like it, the, the, the sentence here is about Alana, but really if you look closely, the sentence is really about the dream, Alana's strange dream. That is what is committing the action in this sentence. So here we have the dream. That is our simple subject. That goes on the first line. Notice that I didn't capitalize the D in dream because the D in dream doesn't need to be capitalized in the sentence. It is not the first word. Okay, now we're going to look for the simple predicate, the verb, the word that shows action. The dream faded. That's the action that, that the dream is committing. It faded, and that is your simple predicate. So you would put that in the spot where you normally put a simple predicate on the diagram. Now you're going to see if there are any direct or indirect objects. So you would ask yourself, you would do the trick that I've taught you, you would ask yourself the what and the, the for whom questions. So a lot of strange dream, what? Well, there's no real answer in this sentence for that, which means there is no direct object, and if there's no direct object, there cannot be an indirect object. So therefore, you don't have to put anything beyond this point of the chart. So now let's go back and eliminate words that we've already placed on the chart. We have the word dream, then we have the word faded, and now we see all these other words. In the last video, I showed you that when you find an adjective, you basically are going to connect it to the word in the sentence that it describes by putting it on the diagram on an angled line. Okay, so let's take a look and find what words describe which words here. All right, so first of all, we have Ilana's strange dream. Okay, now we know that both of these words are telling us more information about the dream. Why? Because one, in one way, one word is telling us that the dream was strange. The other one is telling us that the dream was Alana's dream. So they are both words that describe the word dream, and they would be connected here on this side, in the same way that I showed you, written like they were in the sentence. So you would have Alana's on this line, and you would have strange. You could use those two words. And the only word left is quickly. I told you previously that L-Y words are often adverbs. But also, if you look at this word, you can see that it tells us more information about the verb. Because how, how did it fade? It faded quickly. So this is an adverb because it is giving us information or telling us or describing more about the verb in the sentence. Therefore, it's connected to the, the verb, the word faded. Put your little line down, and then you would simply write the word quickly here. And there is your diagram for this sentence. So I'll pause for a second while you do this one. And we're back. I love doing that. I, I never get old. Okay, so here is the solution for this sentence. You draw your diagram. You're going to try to find uh, your uh, 
your simple subject. And again, don't be tricked. The truck's bumper. The bumper is what this sentence is really about. It is a noun, and the sentence is about it denting easily. Okay, so the bumper is your simple subject. That's pretty bad. That's why I love chalk right there. Okay, so the bumper is your simple subject. <clears throat> now you're going to try to find the verb. Well, the bumper dented easily. Dented is an action verb. So here we see the word dented in your simple predicate spot. Try to see if there's a simp if there's a uh, direct object. Bumper dented what? Well, easily is not a real answer for that. It's not a noun. So therefore, there's no direct object, which means there's no indirect object. So we move on. Nothing needs to go on the chart after that. We can eliminate our words that are on the chart already. We have the and trucks, and we have the word easily. And it's pretty obvious that the and trucks are telling us more information about the word bumper. Why? Because which bumper is it? It's the trucks. And which bumper is it? It's the bumper. Okay, so both of these words are adjectives, and you would basically put them on the slanted lines coming off of the word they connect to. Here you see the word trucks. Make sure you include uh, the apostrophe showing that is a possessive word. Okay, now we have one word left, the word easily, and now we can see that is connected. It is giving us more information about the word dented. How was it dented? Easily. So we connect this adverb in the same way that you would put an adjective on the diagram. And there you have it. You can see that both of these diagrams look pretty similar. The sentence structures are pretty much the same as each other, so therefore you're going to have diagrams that look a lot like each other, which should show you the whole purpose behind diagramming in the first place is to see the patterns that occur in sentences. If you understand how to do these kinds of things well, it makes it really easy as a writer, I, I can tell you this, it makes it, it makes it very easy to change and vary the types of sentences that you use in a piece of writing. And sometimes that's the difference between those books that really make you want to keep going and those books that you fight through. So I hope you enjoyed diagramming. We'll be back with some more diagramming tips and techniques pretty soon. Until then, stay healthy and stay safe.